Hey guys, it's time to talk about power, specifically power in phones. Lots of power. The most powerful Android phone is coming later this year. It's not from Samsung or Google or LG or Huawei. Oh wait, it is actually a Huawei phone. Call as the Mate 20. The good day Mate 20 will be the first Android phone to have a 7 nanometer CPU named Kirin 980. And along with that, it's going to have some other awesome stuff that we're going to talk about in this video. So 2018 has been a pretty good year to Huawei. They released their first ever triple camera phone in the world and that's a big deal considering the next year's Galaxy S10 and iPhones because they could have triple cameras but people will always remember who started it all. The camera on the P20 Pro has the highest DxOMR score. In my personal usage, it is absolutely the best when it comes to photos but there are other areas where the phone lacks a lot of things. First up, the chipset. It is a 2017 one so not on par with the others and the camera video capabilities are bad so you don't get stabilization at 4k and the worst thing is the design of the phone from up front like seriously right now only the pixel can beat this design with its deep notch and high chin and become the ugliest phone of the year but huawei have learned their lesson they know that it's time to fix the shortcomings of the p20 pro and bring the heat with the mate 20. the first thing huawei is looking to fix is the on par processor with the competition well, not on par because the benchmark leak of the 7 nanometer Kirin 980 absolutely kills the current competition and it looks to be even more powerful than the Apple A11 processor inside of the iPhone 10 slash iPhone 8 Plus, which is the best processor right now when it comes to benchmark numbers and everything. There's even a chance that it could match the Apple A12 performance. It's coming with the 2018 iPhones later down the year. We can't say for sure, but it's our best shot at matching or battling the Apple a12 monster. The so Kirin 980 processor on Antutu benchmark absolutely kills Snapdragon 845 processor and Exynos 9810. It is based on TSMC 7 nanometer process. They are also said to be the one mass producing Apple's A12 7 nanometer chip. Now the processors based on 7 nanometer are expected to deliver 20% improved performance and up to 40% increased power efficiency compared to the current 10 nanometer processors. Now one sad thing about the Mate 20 is that it may not be 5G ready as far as the current leaks are concerned so again nothing final on that Huawei can surprise us certainly they have done that this year so Huawei is actually done with the 980 processor they have already started developing the next generation Kirin 1020 processor that is said to have the double performance of Kirin 970 but that's a far thing the Kirin 980 is ready and it's promising. Now the next thing that Huawei is fixing up is the front design and the display. Now Huawei Mate 20 is said to have the largest flashy display with a whopping 6.9 inch bezel-less OLED Samsung display. According to the bell, Huawei has ordered huge 6.9 inch OLED displays from Samsung to use on an upcoming smartphone. This will make the largest display flagship overall bigger than Note 6.3 inch and Pixel 3 XL 6.2 inch display. Now in order to cope with this big ass screen size, the phablet has to have less bezels otherwise it's just too big like it's nearly 7 inches. So how slim the bezels are on the Huawei Mate 20 thanks to this pretty high quality visual leak of the Mate 20's front panel, we can see what Huawei is cooking up with the display. So first up, you can see there is no notch, which is pretty awesome. And you can see that it actually has pretty less bezels. I mean, it's nothing like Oppo Find X, but it looks pretty slim and the display looks to be curved on the sides. There seem to be dual front camera system as well uh, and no sign of front fingerprint scanner so either it's on the back or it's in the display. They already have a one in-display fingerprint scanner phone called as the Huawei Mate Porsche design. So we can expect an in-display fingerprint scanner on the Mate 10 or the Mate 10 Pro model. Now from the leak you can see that Huawei is also working on a gesture based system like iPhone 10. So we got that bar at the bottom for those swipe gestures. It could be because of Android P which does have gesture support by default so for sure by then we'll have Android P ready and out. Because of that we can expect the Mate 20 to be the first Huawei phone to have Android 9.0 P. A factory blueprint was also leaked that further elaborated the design so you can see the bezels are slim, Huawei logo is up front, back shows triple camera setup and it's most likely to be exclusive with the Mate 20 Pro model just like it was on the Huawei P20 Pro. 
it's going to be a 40 megapixel monster camera with improved video capabilities because thanks to K980, Huawei can add 4K with stabilization and improve the camera setup even further. The battery size is said to be above 4000 million bar mark. Right now, Huawei P20 Pro is the king of the battery drain and with 7 nanometer chip, the Mate 20 could be even better battery wise. As for the release date, you can expect the Mate 20 to make an official appearance sometime in October of 2018. So yeah guys, that's all we have on the Huawei Mate 20 coming with a 6.9 inch OLED Samsung display and a powerful world's first 7 nanometer K980 processor. Inside is smartphone, so I'm pretty excited for that. I wish they could just improve the design further by getting rid of that front logo. Whether you like it or not, it's going to be the most powerful Android phone of the year 2018. Let me know your thoughts about this and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.